Hey guys, this is you say D Wheeler here, and what do you know? I am actually doing another Gundam review. Yeah, well, I've been doing stuff, and stuff calls, and stuff happens. Yada, yada, yada. Alrighty, well, in any case, let's just skip all the all the excuses for why I haven't been doing much videos, though, but, and get to what I'm going to be showing you here. This is the Master Grade Blitz Gundam from the series Mobile Suit Gundam Seed. And I got this guy, like, right before my birthday, though, and because I wanted something new, and I wanted something to go along with my dual assault shroud, though, and I really like this guy. I don't know. I love all the... The thing I like about all the Seed Master Grades, though, over the Age Master Grades, though, is because, uh... They give you a whole ton of flashy decals to put onto the Gundam and stuff, and or mobile suit, and it just really makes it stand out, and it looks really nice. Okay, so basically, yeah, the, the as you know from I think the re the the reason why they're bringing out more of these uh, seed master grades, like from the original ones, like they're bringing out Blitz, Duel. Buster and Aegis is because of the Gundam Seed HD remastered, and yeah, so that's pretty much the best way I can put it, or at least I think so. And yeah, and there's are already if you subscribe to Gundam Info's uh, YouTube channel, you get the that they put up the HD remastered uh, Seed episodes. And they have slight, some slight changes, though, and I think they're going to be putting on the perfect strike, where the strike has all of the striker packs attached to the launcher sword and the ale, which I still need to get the real great sky grasper. That way I can equip all the striker packs to my real great strike, and it'll look pretty awesome. Okay, enough of me babbling on. I've been. Okay, so basically, I'm going to get into articulation. I haven't done this in a while, so. But it shouldn't be too hard. I don't so so okay first of all the head is it's on a pivoting ball joint though so like so I can go like look all the way down be pushed back well probably nothing new for a lot of stuff though and it can't really go all the way around or can it wait let me try uh yeah it can't really go all the way because you know the it's a little collar it's chin it's a little chin Peg thing kind of gets stuck, so you can't really turn it all the way around. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah, but, you know, yeah, like I said, it does go up and down and stuff, and it, it can turn side to side, but it can't just go all the way around. Unless you kind of want to snap it off, but hey, if someone else can do it, then yeah, just, just show me. Alrighty, so for the arms. Okay, let me. The arms, they go. All arms can go about like that high, and let's see, it can go all the way around no problem because it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really have the big str uh, the those dynamic backpacks though because this one's pretty much made for stealth, so it doesn't really. Yeah, uh, it's not really meant to carry a lot of equipment, so yeah. So that's pretty an easy thing to, to do. So and so yeah, the arm rotates underneath the shoulder all the way, and the hands they they wiggle around and move all the way around. And of course, they have like the new master grade fingers, which you have the the interchangeable fingers. Which I wish they'd go back to the those ball joint fingers where you can kind of move them back and forth. Cause I kind of like those better. Well, that depends though. You guys tell me what you like better, like, the ones, the other ones where you can, like, just those three fingers and the trigger finger and whatnot, or these fingers right here. Okay, so, back, back on topic, which I'm pretty much known to just kind of ramble on, but yeah. Okay. So, before I go on, yeah, the, the shoulder panels, though, they can, they can stretch out and you can open up and reveal, like, a hidden panel or so right there. Which I thought was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Well, I guess maybe it's like some kind of venting system. 
Or maybe it's like the venting system where, it's, where he activates the Mirage Colloid or something like that. Okay, so I got the arms done. Let me get let me go to the back. The thrusters, though. So the thrusters, they're on like a pivoting joint, so you can move them side to side and up and down. And this one, I think you can kind of move it up and down, though, but I'm not sure if it's... Because when I put it in, though, there's it was just a regular, like, those little sliding joints where you have to just slide it all the way in, though. So I'm not sure if this is just wiggling a little or if, or if it can actually move up and down and stuff. But it moves up and down, so, and without much trouble, so I guess I assume that. Alrighty, so for the waist joint. The waist joint, it's... There's like a, some kind of ball joint in here, though. But you can move back, no, forwards, and back. And that thing came off. But, yeah. So, yeah. So if you kind of, uh... Move it all the way, you can kind of expose some of the inner material, though. The inner frame. And it, kind of, it moves around pretty easily. I like that. Alrighty, so. And the front skirts, though, are actually, are actually put it on pretty well. And, wow, that thing just came off. And it's back on. Okay, well, yeah. Well, the... It, the, the skirts are a big improvement over the assault shrouds, though, so there's really no problem with those. And Okay, and also, so the waist also, you can't really go all the way around and because of the you know, the front the front and back skirts, though, and it's kind of a, a big waist right here, so yes, it's fat, it's obese. <laughs> but yeah, so it can't really go all the way around inside, so this can move up and down as well. And so forth. Okay, so I got these done. Now then, let's see how far the legs can go up now, shall we? Alrighty. The, the legs can go like about about that far because of the, the skirt getting in the way, unless you want to pop off the skirt and just... I mean, if you do though, then it can go a lot farther than this. Alrighty, and as for the bend, ooh, I like that. See, when you bend the leg, you can see that little, that little, uh, the little hinge, I guess you can call it. You can see the in, inside, it kind of shifts up the, the knee armor, though, and kind of, let's see, kind of rests it like that, and... That's pretty neat. I like what they did with the leg here, though. But I kind of missed the part where the panels separate, though, and slide. And the leg came off. But yeah, this is still a peg for the legs, though. So They're usually pretty short, though, so you gotta be careful when you're just moving them around. And also, uh, the feet. Kind of, it's like there's two joints in the foot. And so it goes up and down. Can't really... Well, it goes side to wiggle side to side, but I don't think you can spin it all the way around. And the back of the foot can has this little theme jig. I think it's maybe so it can like slow itself down if it gets getting pushed back and stuff. Alrighty, and uh, as for the legs, yeah, they can't really rotate all that well. Just yeah, unless you want to pop off the leg. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And look, it's got thruster feet and stuff. Oh yeah, and these things, these things can open up. Wait, if those things open up, is it possible? Nope. It still just goes side to side and stuff, so. Alright, well, what can you do? So yeah, I guess that's about it for articulation and stuff, so. Yeah. Let's move on to the accessories, though, since it's already got... Yeah, since you can already put this guy in pretty some pretty good poses, though. Okay, first things for the hands. You you come with, of course, like the hands, you come with these... Uh, these different detachable fingers that you can use. You can use these open... You can make an open palm hand. You can make him hold... Something like he's holding, like, a beam saber, or, like, those little... 
those spears that he has in the shield. And it comes with like two sets for each though, so you, or you can have like the close fist one too. So yeah, that's those are all. But I don't feel like exchanging the. Yeah, I don't feel like exchanging them right now. So yeah, that's gonna be gonna be quite troublesome. I'm like, all right. So I sound kind of boring though. I'm just really tired and I got stuff to do in the morning. So I'm, I don't know if I'm rushing this or not, but yeah. Okie dokie. First things first, we'll get into this thing. This is, I think it's called the, the Gleipnir. As you can see, let me see if I can... Um, oh, I get, well, you might have saw, I don't know if you saw that though, but yeah. Yeah, it's called, the, yeah, it's called the Gleipnir though. You saw it for like a second though. This phone is like, meh. Okay, so it has three claws, as you can see. So these can open up. And you can move, like, the edges, though. So it's, like, it's kind of like a... You can grab stuff, or you can use it, like... I guess you can use it just to either grab or pierce or whatever. And I like it, though, but... Although these red, these red things on here, though, they might... Uh, they fall off easily, though. Though I don't want to touch them, though, though, because otherwise I feel like they might fall off. So these are one of the only things that pretty much falls off on this stuff. Just this thing. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And, of course, it comes with this yellow string that it has attached to it, though. That you can attach it to the left arm, or whichever arm you have it on, but it's probably supposed to be the left arm. And, of course, you just... The yellow string comes with these little tube attachments though, so it can attach itself to the, it can, yeah, pretty much just attach itself. I think this is how it goes on, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah, this goes on here, and then this little one goes into the, this thing right here, this little attachment, but yeah, I don't want to try practicing, hmm, practicing putting this on while on camera right now, but I do have pictures on my Facebook, though, so if any of you have my Facebook, you can check it out in the album I've made for the Blitz itself. Okay, so, but when if you don't want to use it, you can just take this and just slide it on right here. And there we go. It's on. See? Now that looks pretty awesome. Alrighty, so... Now let's see. Next up, we got the Tricero Shield. Well, I don't know if it... Yeah. I, I assume that's what it's called because of the... What I had to put on the decal. Let's see. I uh, can't really get... There we go. Yeah, see that thing? It says Tricero, though, and... Well, I assume that's what it's called, so... In any case, so this shield has a lot of stuff on it. First of all, it has these three lance parts. You can pull them out, but you gotta be careful. Let me just there we go. See, it comes with you get three of them, and I like it has this little purple attachment that looks like at the bottom. And you can have them hold it regularly though, or yeah, you can just store it in the shield. It comes with like the handle, and then this thing right here is actually a beam saber handle, so you can, if you want, you can actually just push this thing out and pull it out, and there you have the beam saber handle. And you only get one of them though, so yeah. So I want to keep this in the shield, and you can also, it comes with two clear pink beams. See, two, but of course you'll probably only use one, and you can just. Place the beam here. That way, it looks like he has the beam activated for the on the shield, like he did uh, with the um, the umbrella shield of Artemis, which he assaulted and then kind of destroyed their defenses. When it's like, oh look, oh look, the Zaf ships are going away. Oh, they're not going to come back. And then, oh look, he, he, oh shit, he came up. Yeah, he came invisible and then destroyed all the stuff there. And why cry about it? <laughs> okay. 
Alright, so then you just put them in here. Okay, you gotta align them really, really well, so then that way they won't kind of, they won't fall out. Yeah, if uh, they don't necessarily make some kind of click when they're in place, though, but they when once they're in though, the, the it once it reaches the area where they can't, you can't really push it out any further in there, then they'll stick, pretty much. So yeah. I even got some stickers on this stuff too, so yeah. Alrighty. So now, what you do... This is gonna be a tricky part though, so yeah. What I'll do is... Uh, let's see if I can just put it on like this. There's like a little peg here though, where you can peg it into the, the hole in the right arm, just like you have with the, the, the Gleipnir, so... But first, you want to make sure you get the hand in, and make sure you plug it right there, and voila, it's on, and it won't come off, because it's secure. It's really secure. Okie dokie. So, without further ado, this is the GATX207 Blitz all equipped. And I gotta say, it was really fun building this guy. I mean, come on, clear. Okay, I guess that's not good, good as we'll get right now. Yeah, so that's the Blitz. Pretty much that's all of its accessories, though. And along with that, you get... You get this little... You get two little, fig, little figure things of a nickel. Amalfi the pilot. You get him one standing up and one of them just kind of sitting down. But, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's about it for this review, I guess, because... I don't know if I explained anything. If there's anything more you want to ask, though, you can just feel free to ask, though. But I pretty much just covered what it came with, though, and how it can move and stuff. And I just love the way it turned out. It... I love all the decals that comes with it, though, and I love just putting it together. It was fun. The shield is really nice, and I like how it comes with the beam barrels right there. Although the hardest part, I would have to say, of building it was the shield itself, because some of the stuff, it would just... Uh, I, I didn't want to break it, though, so yeah. But I managed to get them on, on and once it's on, it's it's on. And it won't really fall off that easily, too. Normally, I think uh, the the duel had more stuff to fall off than this guy. So, yeah. And I'm, I can't wait for the Master Raid Buster and the Master Raid Aegis to come out, though, too. So, yeah. It'll make a fine addition to the to the original Seed Gundam cast. And just I can just... Uh, if we get them, though, or if my brother gets it, though, I'm just going to take a picture of all, all of them doing like some kind of Sentai pose, maybe. It's like... The original Seed Gundams doing wacky poses and stuff, and having their, well, holding their weapons or something like that. In any case, though, yeah, that's about it for this review of the Blitz. Though, I, overall, I would give this uh, a nine out of ten because it's a pretty solid build, though, and the joints are pretty well made, though, and they it moves around pretty well and without much difficulty, though. So, yeah. So. Yeah, that's my rev again. That's my review of the Master Grade Blitz Gundam. I will try to have more reviews up later on, though. Right now, I think because I got a few more Master Grade and High Grades from Age to review, and uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I got to review the some of my real grades too. So yeah, that's about it, and I'll see you guys on the next review. And yes, more will come. Alrighty, this is Yusei D Wheeler signing off. For real this time. Alright? Later guys!